good morning. I am very tired this morning because we stayed up to watch a long movie. We watched Wonder Woman because Samuel wanted to watch that. That was his birthday movie choice because we weren't home to watch a movie on his birthday. So I've just been planting some seeds in punnets and Latham is mowing grass and I'm about to get ready to get out. But this morning, for the first time, I'm wearing a short sleeve top because it's sticky and humid. Anyway, I'll show you what I planted. So I planted some echinacea, some yarrow, some white yarrow. I haven't got white and white is the only medicinal one. So I'm pretty excited to have planted some of that. I planted some lemongrass, planted some true English lavender, some valerian, wormwood, lemon mint, uh, clary sage, red ball cornflowers, snapdragons, the magic carpet mix, globe amaranth, I don't have any photos to show you but, and some nettle funnily enough. I had nettle growing here when we first came but it didn't come back. I need to plant these rudbeckias out. Probably should plant these fennels and the lupins out. Oh, there's an honesty here. That one can go out now. So I'll plant that one out. The other ones I'm a bit worried about frost still. And then I'd really, really love to have this tray. So I might need to plant these zinnias out. I've got some cosmos and some marigolds. So it's quite possible that I will plant these out today. Although I need to make some space for them, really. They're getting too tall. Too tall and leggy to be inside anymore. I'm just concerned about that frost. All right, I really have to do the dishes. That's just what I'll have to do right now. Can't get outside yet, because I want to come inside to a clean kitchen. Okay, I've done the dishes. Yay for that. I've also given the oven a clean and look at that dirty water. Oh my goodness. So I've just given the oven a nice sparkly wipe down. Latham is brush cutting outside now. But I still need to go over the oven with the steel o to get off all this. It's really hard to keep a wood fire oven clean because you can't clean your spills and that when you're cooking because it is hot. And I'm thinking now I'm going to hang some of the herbs on my little herb hanger here because I will not be able to use the dehydrator today. It is just too cloudy outside to use it. I also need to bottle up. Oh, that doesn't feel very dry. Maybe these need to dry for a bit longer. And these ones over here are pretty dry. This coriander's dry, that's ready to bottle up. And the dishwasher is full, but I probably won't be able to put it on today. Can you see all those clouds out there? Okay, so I've just put the calendula flowers up on top of the oven. Oh, almost tripped over you, Harry. Sorry, almost tripped over the cat. So when I start the fire, it'll help fry them. When I start cooking down here, I will definitely take off these because I don't want the smell of the cooking to go into the flowers. Okay, so this is what I harvested yesterday and because I can't use the dehydrator today I'm going to hang these upside down on this little rack here 
This was an old abacus. So it had the wooden beads on rods and it sort of fell apart a bit. So it's got some nails in it now and it is the perfect space for me to hang my herbs to dry. So I'm just using some elastic bands that I get off vegetables. You never have to buy any elastic bands because there's always elastic bands around the organic asparagus. Okay, it's really, really noisy here, but I've just popped the peppermint up and I've also done the calendula flowers so they're all up and I'm gonna give the thyme a wash because it had a bit of dirt in it Let these crane out in the bowl. Okay, I'm getting my gardening top on and I'm going to get out there and help in the garden. My rows are a little bit askew, but I've planted the Rudbeckia out and I've popped manure all through here. Some more Rudbeckia. all the way down to feed the puppies and it's looking so green and lush and I can't wait to sit in here and be surrounded by flowers Soon we're going to have many, many more cauliflowers, so send me your favourite cauliflower recipes and I'll have to give them a go. These red cabbages here are a fail because I'm pretty sure they're just going to go straight to seed. These are absolutely loving the borage. My next job is to mow along here. 